Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my review of KD Neon. This is version 5.10.2. So what is so special about KD Neon? KD Neon contains a bleeding edge KD desktop which continues to update throughout the life of the system and it contains next to no applications pre-installed. But why is that so special? Well, how many other desktops are like that? How many other Ubuntu based desktops I should clarify because Arch certainly does update and remains on the bleeding edge throughout its life, but not many Ubuntu systems do the same. It literally contains a core of applications you need just to get your system off the ground. And that is so rare to see these days. The distro is made by the KD developers. I'm going to go across their website because there's a couple of bits I would like to point out. And because I've almost finished the review at that point, haven't I, by saying that it contains nothing and what it is. Hmm. Well, let's stretch this out to a little bit longer than uh, one minute. So, downloading KD Neon. So there's a few different options of KD Neon. You have the user edition, developer edition, and a Docker image. If you're a developer, then you will be interested in the Docker images or the developer editions. On the other hand, if you're an everyday user, then go for the user edition. There's two options. You have a user edition or a user LTS edition. This is long-term support edition. The long-term support is based on the Plasma 5.8 long-term support desktop, whereas the user edition continues to update throughout the life of the system. So at the moment, as I said, it is KD 5.10.2. In a couple of weeks time, that'll probably be 5.10.3. And in a few months time, that'll be 5.11 whereas the LTS version will not update until the next long-term support desktop, which is Plasma 5.12. You do get newer applications with both versions. So that is one key point to mention, that the KDE software also continues to update throughout the life of the system. Ah, for example, these three applications here on the front page of Discover, Krita, Caden Live, and Dolphin will continue to update and gain new features. Whilst I'm talking about updates, you can expect to receive quite a few hundred megs worth of updates every month. So I've been using KD Neon now since about August 2016, so yes, quite a while and not had any trouble with these continuous updates. But if you're on a limited internet connection, then maybe you would like to consider perhaps another distro that doesn't update quite as frequently. Although you don't have to update every single release, it is not essential. So let's have a look at some of the changes there have been to KDE Neon over the past few months. Although this really is more specifically changes to the KDE desktop, of which there's quite a lot. So I'm just going to go for some of the key notable ones. For example, the desktop, which is now a folder view by default. So that kind of takes me back to the days of Windows, really, that does. I'm having trouble grabbing the arrow there, so let me just move that folder out of the way. Come on, that hamburger menu is getting in the way. There we are. So you can just hover over the folder and open them. So I don't have anything much on this system. Well, it is a VirtualBox system, just for testing out. Why did I do this though when I've got KD Neon as my main system? I don't know. I guess I want to show a basic version of it rather than one that's full of applications. You can easily turn off the folder view, just right click, go to configure desktop, change layout to desktop, apply now, and you'll have a nice clean desktop. The application launcher, you can have different styles, although this really is a more of a KD specific feature that's not really changed over time. Just kind of wanted to point that out and, and take the chance to switch to my favorite application manager, which is Dash. So snappy and responsive. What I should have done earlier is open up KSysGuard and see how much memory we're using. Well, that has crept up now to 700 meg with the browser open. Hmm, that was about equivalent to Debian with the GNOME desktop with nothing open. KDE is a lot lighter than it used to be in the older days. I know I'm going into KDE specifics here that have been around a while, but we do have alternatives on the task manager view as well. So my favorite is the icon only task view. Although with that view, I prefer to have a larger panel and all that can be customized. Yeah, there's loads of customization you can do to the KDE desktop. Perhaps some might say too much and that makes it confusing. Yes, I could certainly sympathize with that, but, but after a while of messing around, you might get used to it. So I wanted to go into the system settings and to go across to the boot splash. 
that is an option you can now change. This is a feature within the newer version of the Plasma desktop, and something I've not really been able to find on my older system, so that may be a feature I've been missing out due to the upgrading. You do have KD Connect installed, so you can synchronize to an Android phone. A very useful application. But realistically, the system is what you make it. Installing the graphics drivers has to be done manually by finding the packages in Moon, Synaptic, or the old-fashioned way in the terminal using apt or apt-get. So for the NVIDIA drivers, it would be package NVIDIA 375 at the time of recording. Although it does have a transitional package, so you could choose an older version, and I think it will go up to the newer version. For the Meta graphics, which are AMD and Intel, I don't actually know what the packages are because I don't have an AMD graphics card, so sorry about this, you would have to Google that one, but it is something to do with the Mesa package. So with the lack of a driver installer, I would certainly not recommend this for a new user, but for an intermediate or advanced user, yeah. KD Neon is a very good operating system, and I've certainly enjoyed using it for the past few months and getting all the brand new KD software. Well thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.